This is a really exciting time to be launching the Northeast Housing Partnership. It's a collaboration of different types of housing provider across the Northeast, owning 214,000 homes between us and delivering about 7,000 new homes over the last four years. We've organised ourselves around four key themes to help support the emerging mayoral combined authority to deliver its key strategic priorities. Biker Community Trust became part of the Carbon Homes family. They committed to something called a Community Pledge, which was about improving the condition of our customers' homes here in Biker. I've lived here for 33 years and I've seen a lot of changes. So this investment means a lot to people who are living here. I had all the internal doors done and I also had the whole bathroom refitted and I also had my second toilet refitted. We had a choice of the flooring, we had a choice of the tiles, even down to the grout. I love it, it's probably the best room in my house and I've got to do the rest of it. <laughs> I am very passionate about the place, about the community. So for me, it's about modernising their homes and making this a great place to live for them. Okay, so this used to be an old photo studio hobby room, but it hasn't been in use really since the 80s, because times really stood still in here. And we want to bring it back into use and make it into a resident-led archive and visitor centre as well. And it is about communities. There's not just one community in Biker, there's many different communities who've lived here and who live here now. And it's not just about old dusty pictures, it's about people's stories and people's lives. The government has set ambitious targets for all homes to reach EPCC by 2030. For Believe Housing that meant that we had to do an ambitious programme with over 9,000 homes still to reach that target. John's home was one of the homes that was on our schemes this year. He has an EPC rating of D. We've worked with John, we've changed his cavity wall insulation, topped up his loft, changed all of his lighting to low energy lighting. He's talking to us about the difference it's making to his arthritis, manoeuvrability around the property. I've been in this house here for at least 41 years. The keep upgrading it, like bringing it into modernisation, that's what it is, isn't it? I feel a difference downstairs with the insulation and that like. I haven't got the radio on now and it's uh, pretty warm. It's definitely made a difference to me. And I can't play them enough. Brunicia was invested £2 million into the employability team. This was to help upskill our communities and get a lot of our communities into work. We set out a programme that would deal with kind of all aspects of the employment that they're going to be doing, plus some of the barriers that they might face. I was cleaning at Sandy Bay, Caravan Park. It was seasonal, so it started around April and finished October. So then it was finding work from October to April again. It really stressed me out. It was very overwhelming to like start off with because I do suffer with anxiety. Um, so walking in here was a big thing for me. I've been supported from the day I started and I still am. I feel like part of the family here, which is not something I've ever experienced before. You could see that Sophie, like literally day by day, week by week, was growing in our, in our confidence. And Sophie is actually just now uh, being selected to have a full-time role at Axe and Bell. It has helped me massively. I don't have to stress about money anymore. I can buy things that I couldn't buy before. It's not just wanting to work to make money, it's about self uh, valuing yourself and making sure that you're um, part of a community and part of a team. Anybody can be made homeless quite easily. All it takes is two or three simultaneous traumatic events and the world unravels for you. And what we provide is a little place for that to be resolved. Claire came into the Rough Sleepers accommodation programme, spent three or four months with a support coordinator helping her. And it was nice to see that she was eventually housed permanently in a 13 general needs property. I was living with me Nana at first and then my mental health came really bad so I moved out, I went into hospital and then I became homeless. just didn't want to live anymore. When I first went to view it, I went, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. It was just like a home. 
by being able to move people from rough sleepers accommodation program and temporary accommodation into our own properties and beds those people into those communities which actually gives more sustainable living it supports the local authorities with their homelessness services it's not just giving somebody a roof over their heads it's about giving wraparound support to individuals that really really need it if i didn't have any of this i wouldn't be here now i've never been so happy since I've moved with the 13 group. Can't keep the smile off my face of what they've done for us.